Now let us move to the content of the video. What parts make up the female anatomy? The female reproductive anatomy includes both external and internal structures. The function of the external female reproductive structure is to enable sperm to enter the body and to protect the internal genital organs from infectious organism. The main external structure of the female reproductive system includes labia majora, which enclose and protect the other external reproductive organs. During puberty, hair growth occurs on the side of the labia majora, which also contains fat and oil secreting glands. The next part is the labia minora. The labia minora can have a variety of size and shapes. They lie just inside the labia majora and surrounding the opening of the vagina and the urethra. This skin is very delicate and can be easily irritant and swollen. Next part is Bartholin glands. These glands are located next to vaginal opening on each side and produces a fluid called mucus. The next part is clitoris. The two labia minora meet at the clitoris. It's very small and sensitive partition that is compared to the penis in male. The clitoris is covered by a fold of skin called as preport which is similar to the foreskin at the end of the penis. Like the penis, the clitoris is very sensitive to stimulate and can become erect. Now let us see about the internal reproductive organ of the female reproductive system. The first one is vagina. The vagina is a canal that joins the cervix to the outside of the body. It is also known as birth canal followed by uterus. Uterus is a hollow, pure-shaped organ that is the home to a developing fetus. The uterus is divided into two parts, the cervix, which is the lower part that opens into the vagina and the main body of the uterus called corpus. This corpus can easily expand to hold a developing baby. A canal through the cervix allows sperm to enter and the menstrual blood to exit. Next is ovaries. The ovaries are small oval shaped glands that are located on either side of the uterus. The ovaries produce egg and hormones. The fallopian tube, there are narrow tubes that are attaching to the upper part of the uterus and serve as pathway for the ovum to travel from the ovary to the uterus. Fertilization of an egg by a sperm normally occurs in the fallopian tubes. The fertilized egg then moves to the uterus where it implants to the uterine lining.